Hello friends. Thank you for inviting me into your world for a few moments today. I want to draw your attention to a book by Simon Sinek, Leaders Eat Last. He talks about an anecdote that he heard of an under secretary of defense who was invited to speak at a particular conference. And during his delivery, he stopped and went off script for a bit and he said, you know, last year I was invited to the same conference to give the same talk at the same time. He said it was so different. I landed at the airport. I came first class. I was met at the airport by one of the organizers. I went up to my room, had a good night of rest. And the next day morning I came down Somebody else was there to receive me, asked whether I'd like to have a cup of coffee. And when I said yes, they gave me a wonderful cup of coffee in a beautiful ceramic mug. And he said, that was last year. Since last year, I have retired. And this year, when I came, I came economy. When I landed at the airport, there was nobody to greet me. I got myself a cab, came to the airport, I came to the hotel and then came down this morning, took my own cab and came to the conference venue. I asked somebody, can I have a cup of coffee? And they pointed to a coffee dispenser and a plastic cup. And he looked at the plastic cup and he said, you know, it reminds me that the ceramic cup was given to me for the position I held, but the plastic cup is who I am. I remember reading about Indra Nui, Chairman and Managing Director of uh, PepsiCo International. And she talks about a time when she got the news that she was going to be President of PepsiCo. And she came home to her mother. She said, Mom, I have great news. And she said, hush, child, we don't have milk at home. You need to go out and buy a carton of milk and come back. And Indra Nui says, she said, here I was President of PepsiCo. And my mother was telling me, to go out and buy a carton of milk. And her mother said, I don't care who you are in the office. When you step over the threshold into the home, you're a wife, a daughter, and a mother, and you need to take care of the family. I think that brings home to us just how important it is for us to leave our designations and our roles in the office so that there is harmony an equilibrium at home. And sometimes it's our pride and our ego that takes front stage, center stage if you will, and causes these kind of problems. And our Holy Scriptures remind us, if I may read them verbatim to you, a man's pride brings him low, but a man of lowly spirit gains honor. And then again from Proverbs, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. And so a word to the wise for us, as we look at the positions that we hold, let's make sure that we leave our positions in our workplaces. And when we come home, let's come home to be husbands and wives and sons and daughters and create a healthy, loving environment for the family to grow. God bless you.